For 27 years, Anan Qasim smoked a packet of cigarettes a day. But there's only one cigarette he clearly remembers. His last. I was there about 6 o'clock, played my first game and start feeling heavy on my chest, something very heavy on my chest. So I said to them, I'm going to relax. One of my friends, he, when he saw me coming out of the court, he knew. He knew that this is a heart attack. A routine tennis match became life-threatening. The doctors was telling me that if you smoke again, that means you're going to die. Anand was one of the high number of men and women from Middle Eastern backgrounds who smoke. In New South Wales, home to Australia's largest Middle Eastern community, four out of every ten Arabic-speaking men smoke. That's more than double the state's average. And they're not alone. When I was young, I've been told by people that if you are a man, you have to smoke. Smoking looked like a fashion or a tradition when uh, I was in Vietnam. In what's called Little Vietnam, Sydney's Cabramatta, there's no shortage of smokers. Vietnamese-speaking men also smoke at double the state average. I was smoking since I was 15, 16. And I've always, I don't know, stuck with me. It was a social thing. Everyone's like, oh, I only do it socially. And before you know it, you're buying your own packet and you're addicted. Did you guys know that just behind you is Marquis? We quit smoking, yeah, it's quite ironic here, yeah. Ironic from the outside, perhaps, but inside it's a different story. The message is serious. Smoking kills. And to get that message across, well, that varies. This is just one method being used to try and encourage people to either quit smoking or not take up the habit in the first place. And given that it's your face on an anti-smoking campaign, health workers say that's supposed to be a stark reminder of just how damaging smoking can be to your health. Methods vary because communities vary. Indigenous Australians have the highest rates of smoking in the country, with one in two lighting up. But health workers say there's more to it than addiction. A lot of Indigenous people don't have that high need to have, that, that high chemical need to have nicotine. With them it's a lot more social aspects, so there's certain social situations where they would normally have a cigarette and that's some of the things, that's some of the, the habit things that they really struggle with. So they're trialling a 24-hour quit period where smokers are given pills and patches to help them get through one day without a cigarette. Well, if I can get through the 24 hours, I think that I'll, I might, might be the job and might quit, never know. Three years after his last cigarette, Annan is back on the court and fighting fit. He credits that fateful day with helping him quit and get back in the game. Jeanette Francis, World News Australia.